Hi, Capital Kids. Tonight, we're gonna make this really cool empty tomb craft. And it's a great centerpiece for your table for Easter. It's also really cool because you can find everything you need out of your yard or your house. So let me show you what to do. The first thing you wanna grab is a clay pot saucer and a little clay pot to serve as your empty tomb. If you don't have these items, don't worry. You can use a um, kid's plate and, and kid's cup, or my other favorite option is a paper plate and a paper cup. So go ahead and grab those. Then you'll need to head out into the yard to get some rocks and some grass clippings. You'll also need um, a bigger rock to serve as the rock in front of the tomb. So once you get those things, come on back in and you're gonna start with dumping a layer of rocks on your saucer or on your plate. And then you'll set your empty tomb on, on uh, your plate from there. Probably the hardest part about this craft is the grass. So let me show you what I did here. I took some green tissue paper, I laid it out put some normal glue on it and push down some grass clippings. And then I just kind of wrapped it around the clay pot. If you don't have green tissue paper, don't worry. You can use aluminum foil or parchment paper or any kind of just plain white paper, anything that you can um, put glue on, put the grass on and use to kind of wrap and mold around your little clay pot. Or if you're using a paper cup, the cool thing about this is you can put the glue right on the paper cup and just kind of put the grass right there. And that's super easy. Once you get your clay pot uh, all set up, you wanna get your big rock in front to serve as your uh, rock in front of the tomb that was rolled away. And then you get to make some really cool crosses. And I collected some sticks from our yard and I hot glued them together to make some different size crosses just to decorate my empty tomb. If you don't find any sticks in your yard, you can use pipe cleaners. Um, the other thing you can use is some string to tie your crosses together if you don't have a hot glue gun. So have fun with this craft. I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and we will miss being with you, but um, we look forward to seeing you sometime soon. Bye-bye.